the new message is calling us to greater realities. And these greater realities are something that we're attuned to, many of us. Uh, they're mysterious, but there's something bigger going on. The reality of the condition in, that, that the future represents to us is concerning, is innately concerning. There's something about that. The reality of life beyond this world. Some of us, I guess we might say of ourselves that we're greater community, almost whole world people. For whatever reason, we have a sense for life on the other side of the earth, even. For some reason, for some of us, it matters. It just matters, innately it matters. It's like we regard the world as the whole world. And all of us here in the world as a whole world people. So I can't speak for you. I don't know if this is true for you. Um, but I know it's true for me. The new message speaks of a greater intelligence, a, a greater intelligence beyond the mind that we think with. Th this is mysterious, but it's also really innate. It's innate to us. It's innate to humanity. It's part of how we survived in the primitive era of our existence here, the, the power of this intelligence. So we're not alone. We've never been alone. And though the life can be lonely at times. Because where are we in relation to our home? Is this our home? Where is our home? It's a question we live with. It's a question we feel. So there is a greater reality calling us. There's a greater reality calling us. And we will, we will experience this greater reality calling to us very, very definitely in the new message. Just hearing the voice, hearing intimate experience of hearing this voice speak to us at the same time speaking to the whole world. It's just so amazing. And the word, the beauty of the word of the new message, beautifully, carefully, lovingly transcribed over decades, over decades. So for many of us, I'll just speak in common terms. As I've been saying, we've been stirred in a larger way. We've, we've been experiencing this being stirred, larger, deeper levels. Some of us have been experiencing a sense of knowing or being willing to know what others may not be willing to know around us. And this can be painful at times. We have things to share, but do we have anyone who can hear? At times we do, and that's wonderful. Willing to know what others may not be willing to know. Some of us along the way have reached places of unfulfillment. You know, this feeling of, is that all there is? This feeling of, is that all there is in this life? There must be more. Are you kidding? There must be more. I have to change my life. But then, you know, there's, there's a vacuum. Change for what? Go where? You know. But however, even though we don't have the certainty of the where, we begin to break what we might refer to as chains. You know, overcoming social programming, perhaps. Responsibilities we prematurely assumed in life. We're beginning to break away, beginning to depart an old identity, an old identity, or an assumed identity, you know. Naturally seeking greater meaning here and there, greater meaning wherever it pops up wherever we find it, greater meaning. You know, it's almost like it, in the world of today, in the modern world, it's as if society and culture is on a six-lane superhighway going like who knows how fast down that road. But there's a sense that we need to depart that road for a time, that this road is not going where we're going. This is common commonly expressed by people who have come to the new message, feeling a sense of crisis in the face of the future, in the face of the future, in this emerging new world reality that I think we're all seeing, and experiencing this, this inner pressure that's compelling us, just compelling us on, pressure for a purpose, evidence of knowledge moving us, perhaps pushing us to see and know things that we need to see and know. An, an uncomfortable pressure at times, compelling us on. Yeah. 
And there's other reasons for this pressure, potentially. We're living at a time of revelation. Yeah. We're realizing a greater sense of responsibility. Yeah. We can't get waylaid. These are commonly, this is commonly expressed by people. I couldn't get waylaid. Having what I would call uh, a never again moment, you know, where you reach, you reach a junction in your life where you realize some errors. Okay, and you're saying to yourself, for whatever reason, there's some sort of transference of power within you from the personal part of you to another part of you where you're hearing yourself say, that's it, never again. It's like a slingshot moment forward in time, compelling us on. These are important moments. Realizations happen along the way amidst the uncertainty. So take a moment to honor your experience and your journey and, uh, and know that this is unique to you and real for you. And for whatever reason, it's brought you to this moment here with us.